Greetings, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. It's our news watch unit for today,、uh -huh. and we're going to talk about a couple of stories that have been in the news recently. Okay.、Uh, something about sports,、uh, and uh, of course,、uh, this involves a team from Taiwan doing quite well in some form of competition. And then we've also got some news about a deadly virus, the Zika virus. Uh oh, watch out for that. Yeah, it's pretty scary.、Uh, if you're infected. With the Zika virus, and you happen to be pregnant, your baby to be deformed.、Uh、oh, their heads are smaller, so you want to watch out for that. It's spread around the world now, kind of scary. I hope they come up with a vaccine very quickly to counteract that. I certainly hope so too. So yeah, let's get to it.、Uh, instead of just trying to tell you what these、uh, stories are about, let's listen to them themselves. Okay. So let's read our news stories now from top to bottom. Taiwan hauls in three tug of war golds. Taiwan's tug of war teams pulled in an impressive collection of medals at the 2016 World Indoor Tug of War Championships, which were held this February in the Netherlands. Students from Jingmei Girls High School won silver in the 500 kilogram event, while other Taiwanese teams brought home three more silver medals and an additional three gold medals. The team from Jingmei was especially keen to emerge victorious, as it has a big reputation to defend. After winning numerous domestic competitions and junior titles, it finally burst onto the world scene in 2009, when an official rule change allowed those under 18 to compete. It wasn't long before the girls, coached by Guo Sheng, a former member of the national tug of war team, started making a name for themselves. The team was the first one from Asia to win an outdoor tug of war championship in 2010. A number of girls from that team received government assistance to attend college, where they are studying to become physical education teachers. This will give them the opportunity to train Taiwan's next generation of tug of war champions. Zika virus continues to spread. The Zika virus continues to spread throughout the Americas. Since the outbreak of Zika fever in Brazil in April 2015, thousands of people have been infected, and the World Health Organization (WHO) predicts there could be up to four million cases in the Americas this year. While the fever is relatively harmless in itself, Zika infection during pregnancy has been linked to microcephaly in newborn babies. Microcephaly is a condition in which babies' brains do not develop, resulting in children with smaller heads. This leads to intellectual disorders, other physical deformities, and a reduced lifespan. The Zika virus is primarily spread via the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which is common in tropical regions. There is also evidence that the virus can be sexually transmitted. One solution that has been suggested is releasing male mosquitoes genetically modified to be sterile. This will reduce mosquito numbers, and since males don't bite, they won't spread the virus. Hopefully, the Zika outbreak can be stopped before it can affect even more babies. The time has come for us to discuss the contents of today's lesson. First of all, let's talk about tug of war.、Uh, that's where you have two teams holding a rope and they try to pull the other team toward themselves. With of course that very thick rope. Sometimes you have a little bit of a, a body of water there in the middle, maybe a little stream or something.、Oh、so if they get pulled in there, they get kind of wet or something. <laughs>、uh, this is a game that I did not know was、uh, international competition. I thought this is just something that people do for fun at picnics or something. But、yeah. I guess here in Taiwan they take it quite seriously. Cool. Taiwan hauls in three tug of war golds. Here we're using the word haul. Which is similar to the word tug. To haul usually means to carry something heavy, and so here they're just basically winning three gold medals in tug of war. Sports headlines always try to make them colorful by using different adjectives to apply to the sport. You just reminded me of a big company around the world. I think it's called U-Haul. U-Haul. The letter U and then haul. The word haul. 
which means you were, you know, probably moving or taking a lot of things and putting them into a small trailer or even a big truck and taking it from one place to another. And you're kind of, you know, it's it's a lot of stuff and it's heavy. So haul and tug. That's interesting. It's a、mm. cute title. You know, I love tug of war. Played it just at family picnics, but、uh, it can be very, very competitive. You usually have a line that you cross. You mentioned having a body of water in the middle that you can be pulled into. There's usually a line. If you pull the other team over the line, you win.、Um, I'm not very strong. I guess there's a technique to it that I don't know. We're going to talk about some of the girls who are really great at this. I'm very proud of them. They also sometimes have it between two cliffs, right? So、oh、the losing team、no. will fall、uh, 1,000 feet to their deaths. To their deaths.、Uh, no, I'm kidding. Of course, <laughs> that may have taken place in ancient civilization somewhere. That's but, on. That's、uh, on cartoons. I think you've probably seen that. something the like that. The Roadrunner cartoon.、Uh, yeah, I guess that's where I got that idea. It's not an original joke. But in any case, <laughs> here let's talk about the first paragraph here. Taiwan's tug of war teams. Uh, not just one, but、uh, more than two. They pulled in an impressive collection of medals at the 2016 World Indoor Tug of War Championships, which were held this February in the Netherlands.、Uh, that's what we say, the Netherlands. You guys say Holland, but technically Holland is just a part of the Netherlands.、Yeah. But so we refer to it as Netherlands. Netherlands. They'll say on their jackets and stuff. And here we're using another term that you know, relates to tugging or hauling. Pull in、uh, to pull something in means to pull something in the direction towards yourself. Yeah, we use it a lot. You could be pulled into an activity that maybe you didn't want to participate in. Oh, I got pulled into this project. I got pulled into this assignment. They have pulled in an impressive collection of medals. If it's impressive, it's quite spectacular. You think, oh, pretty good.、Uh, I couldn't have done that. So it's impressive that they've actually collected as many medals as they have. I was shocked when I saw this. I'm really impressed with our girls in the Jingmei High School. We're going to talk about them. We certainly are, and also、uh, we have the word championships here. You could see this singularly sometimes. Championship、uh, mm. usually that just refers to one particular game or something, but in this case there are different categories and different divisions. Probably number of members per team.、Mm -hmm. uh, they've also got different weight classes. Sorry, I'm not an expert on this kind of stuff, but this was quite impressive.、Uh, this haul of all these medals. It was held in the Netherlands, and we've got students from Jingmei Girls High School,、uh, which is just down the road from where I live.、Oh, They、yeah? won silver in the 500 kilogram event. 500 kilograms. I'm assuming that's the total combined weight of the members of the team.、Don't, on one team, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Don't quote me on that because I don't know much about the rules of tug of war. But、uh, I guess they have different、uh, weight classes and、mm. stuff. So、uh, they got the silver medal there, which is pretty impressive. I don't know who got the gold, but、uh, other Taiwanese teams brought home three more silver medals in different classes, and also they brought in three gold medals. So that again is quite impressive. Again. I wonder who they beat. Yeah, sounds like the Taiwanese are really pros at this thing. Now, the team from Jingmei was especially keen to emerge victorious, as it has a big reputation to defend. So, if you have a, a reputation, it means other people think a certain way about you. So, it sounds like they'd won in the past, and they didn't want to ruin their record of wins. If you're keen to do something, it means you're really eager. You're very interested in doing it. You have a lot of enthusiasm for that thing. I think they use this word a little bit more in British English than they do in American English, but you should know what it means. If you emerge from something, it just means you kind of come out from being blocked or hidden. For example, on cloudy days, suddenly the sun will emerge from the clouds. So they wanted to emerge or come out from this. Particular competition champions or victorious. If you're victorious, it just means you've had a victory. That's the noun form of this adjective. You've won something, and you feel very triumphant, very excited.
And they have a big reputation to defend. That means they've done this before, so they need to do it again. After winning numerous domestic competitions, which are competitions here in Taiwan,、mm-hmm. and junior titles, which is not senior, it finally burst onto the world scene in 2009. Okay, to burst means to explode or to appear suddenly. So yes, indeed, this team from Jingmei burst onto the world scene back in 2009 because there was an official rule change that allowed the Those under 18 to compete.、Uh, before that,、uh, you know, high school girls aren't quite 18 yet,、yeah. so now they can compete, and that means they can start winning. And it wasn't long before the girls, coached by Guo Sheng, a former member of the national tug of war team, started making a name for themselves.、Uh, they were coached by their coach, so here, coach can be both a verb and a noun,、mm-hmm. and they made a name for themselves. They became famous. Yeah, if people are talking about you, it means they know your name. So, if you make a name for yourself, you're doing very well in whatever pursuit you're going after. So, the team was the first one from Asia to win an outdoor tug of war championship in 2010. From this sentence, I can tell here they probably have indoor championships as well. So these guys are competing in outdoor competitions, and they were the first one from Asia, all of Asia, to bring home the gold. So that's kind of cool. A number of girls from that team. We're still talking about the Jingmei Girls High School. There received government assistance to attend college. If you receive assistance, someone's giving you some sort of help. Here, because we're talking about college, we're probably talking about scholarships, money that will help them pay for tuition and different fees if you go to school. And the girls that did participate and receive assistance, they're actually studying to become physical education teachers or PE teachers. As We call it indeed, and again, when we say college, we do refer to university. It's the same thing, at least in American English. So yes, they're going to be PE teachers in the future. Maybe they are now already, and this will give them the opportunity or the chance to train Taiwan's next generation of tug of war champions. Boy, this has got me really interested. I'm going to check the internet for the next competition and see exactly what goes on as these two teams try to pull each other with a big. Thick rope. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson for today. We're going to take a break and then talk about the Zika virus. 大家好，我是 Alice， 欢迎收听 English Digest。今天我们要来介绍 Unit Seven News Watch 的两则新闻。第一篇新闻是 Taiwan holds in three tug of war golds. 台湾拔得三金四银。本文叙述台湾在今年的世界室内拔河锦标赛中夺得佳绩，并介绍锦美女中拔河队。首先，我们看到课文的第二段第一句 ：The team from Jingmei was especially keen to emerge victorious, as it has a big reputation to defend。来自锦美女中的队伍特别渴望取得胜利，因为它要保卫重要的名誉。这边有个形容词 keen, k e e n， 意思是渴望的。keen 也有热衷的的意思。例如 ，the boss is keen on the idea of expanding the company overseas。老板热衷于扩展海外公司这个想法。另外 ，keen 也有敏捷的的意思。例如 ，the child has a keen mind and understands new things quickly。那个孩子有敏捷的心思，并且很快就能理解新的事物。Keen 也可以当敏锐的的意思，例如 ，Eagles have keen eyesight and can spot a rabbit moving on the ground from far away。老鹰有敏锐的视力，并且能够从很远的地方发现在地面移动的兔子。接着，我们看到课文下一句。After winning numerous domestic competitions and junior titles, 这边的名词 title 是体育比赛冠军的意思。例如，我们可以说 Rebecca won the world boxing title. 雷贝卡赢得世界拳击冠军。接下来，本段第三句提到 It wasn't long before the girls blah 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 started making a name for themselves. 不久后，女孩们开始成名。这边我们看到一个片语 ，make a name for oneself， 
或者我们也可以说 make one's name as something， 意思是成名、出名。例如 ，Bob made a name for himself as a comedian. Bob 以喜剧演员成名。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's continue now to talk about the Zika virus. You may have heard about that. A virus, of course, is some kind of disease that spreads around. It's a living virus. It's kind of like bacteria, sort of.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, the virus, or the Zika virus, continues to spread throughout the Americas.、Uh, this story kind of disappeared at least、uh, earlier this year because I hadn't really heard a lot about it. But hey, it's still out there. It's it back. I read something a couple of、uh, weeks ago. Yeah. Yep, it's out there, so you gotta watch out. And we're talking about it continuing to spread throughout the Americas. Americas, if you add an S to it, refers to all of North and South America, basically the Western Hemisphere. So it's everywhere there. And since the outbreak of Zika fever in Brazil in April 2015, thousands of people have been infected, and the WHO or the World Health Organization predicts. That there could be up to four million cases in the Americas this year. That's a lot, so that will affect Taiwan because, of course, a number of people travel to the Americas、mm -hmm. on business or education to visit relatives and stuff like that. So you gotta watch out. And lots of people have been infected. That means the virus has gotten into their bodies somehow. That's right. I think we're going to be hearing a lot more about soon. I would expect very soon is more about Brazil because they're going to have the Olympics, and、yeah. a lot of athletes are very fearful of going down there and participating、mm. because they don't want to get this virus. If you get it and you're not pregnant, it's relatively harmless. You feel like you have the flu, but it can be very, very destructive if you're pregnant to your little baby. So it's kind of scary that way. But I'm here. I I think we're going to hear a lot more when the Olympics come around. Sure. So right now, they're predicting that there are going to be a lot more cases this year. Now, while the fever is relatively harmless in itself, so if you get it, you're sick for a while, and then you get better, kind of like the flu. Like I said, the Zika infection. If you have some sort of illness. It's an infection during pregnancy has been linked to microcephaly in newborn babies. Pregnancy refers to the period of time when a woman is pregnant and her baby is growing inside her. And what it does is it actually damages those little brains of those infants, so the fetuses inside. So it's awful. Yep,、yeah. that happens during pregnancy, the time when a woman is expecting a baby. And again, this disease is microcephaly. Cephaly. Means head, I think, in Latin. So microcephaly means small head、wow. in newborn babies. And microcephaly is a condition in which babies' brains do not develop, and that results in children with much smaller heads. You got to watch out for that. And this leads to all sorts of other problems, including intellectual disorders. Intellectual refers to the intellect, which is the brain, how smart you are, but also the functions of your brain. How you can do things?、Uh, can you speak? Can you pick up things? Anything that involves the brain will involve your intellect. So these will be intellectual disorders, maybe、uh, learning disorders and stuff like that. It's just no good. You just don't want to have this. That's right. So it's an intellectual disorder, a brain disorder. There are other physical deformities that come along with it. A deformity is something that is not formed correctly,、uh, usually when babies are born. If they're born without an arm, or there's something that's not quite right about their bodies, we'll talk about birth deformities.、Um, these babies also who are born with the Zika virus have a reduced lifespan. Your lifespan refers to how long your entire life is, and、uh, usually.
really、uh, well. Actually, lifespans are about、uh, what seventy five, eighty now. Our lifespans have increased, but I hear that they're decreasing now, which is kind of scary. Yeah, lifespan is basically how long you actually live, and then life expectancy is how long you're supposed to live. You know, if you don't get sick and stuff like that. So lifespan here does take things into account, like accidents and diseases and stuff like that. So in any case, here they're just not going to live as long. No,、uh, it just kind of goes without saying that you just don't want to get this virus if you're pregnant because your babies run the risk of having these problems, and you already need enough energy to take care of kids when they're small. Now you got extra energy that you're going to need to take care of a handicapped or disabled child. Yeah. Well, the Zika virus is primarily or mostly spread via the Aedes aegypti mosquito. It's a particular type of mosquito. Aedes aegypti is Latin, so don't worry about that. It's just the particular strain of mosquito. It's common in tropical regions. I don't think we have it here in Taiwan yet. Is that correct,、uh, I Tom? I haven't heard. Haven't heard any news yet, yet, but yet. we're definitely a tropical region.、Mm. As you know, mosquitoes love humid climates. They love us here, so we hate mosquitoes, don't we?、Mm. There is also evidence that the virus can be sexually transmitted. If you transmit something, you send it from one place to another, and sexually means you would be having sex. If you're having sex with somebody who already has been infected, you're likely to get it yourself. Yes, VD is sexually transmitted. A certain type of herpes is sexually transmitted. AIDS is sexually transmitted as well. So this, of course, is something you got to watch out for. One solution that has been suggested is releasing male mosquitoes genetically modified to be sterile. Okay, so this is one answer or one solution to this problem. They're going to capture a bunch of male mosquitoes and they're going to genetically Modify them to change their genes. Basically, to modify here as a verb just means to make something change a little bit.、Uh, usually, to try to improve it or something. You know, I have a pet robot at home. Its name is Rags. Rags the dog. But you know, it's not fetching the slippers very well. So I took it back to the <laughs> factory to have it modified. Really, to have it improved. <laughs> And now the dog brings my slippers to me, no problem, every night. You have a pretty good robot there, Tom.、Mm. Uh, so modified means changed. Sterile means it can no longer have babies, so it wouldn't be producing or being able to get that female mosquito pregnant. She's the one who has the babies. So this will reduce mosquito numbers. I think this is great. I think we should do this even if we don't have the Zika virus. I would love to reduce the number of mosquitoes here in Taiwan. And if you didn't know this, which I actually didn't, male mosquitoes don't bite. They can't bite you. So if you're upset at mosquitoes, you're probably mad at the females because they're the ones who are biting us. Since they don't bite, they won't spread the virus. So this is good. I hope they can come up with a lot of sterile mosquitoes for this plan to work. Maybe if they start with a few or something, and that will spread throughout the population. Who knows?、Uh, the new baby male mosquitoes might be born sterile. As well, that might totally wipe out this particular species of mosquito. But indeed, yes, it's the females who bite. They're nothing but a bunch of blood suckers, <laughs> so you got to watch out for them. But in any case, here the males don't bite, so they won't spread the virus. And hopefully, the Zika outbreak can be stopped before it can affect with even more babies. So it won't affect those babies again. Hopefully, we can stop it. We can nip it in the bud,、yeah. as we say, stop it before the problem gets really big. That's right.、Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if they can come up with a solution fast enough to help those athletes that will be competing in Brazil. Not just the athletes; a lot of people go to the Olympics、yeah. to watch it, right?、Sure. So it's going to hurt、uh, Brazil if a lot of people stay home because they're fearful of the Zika virus. I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, mosquitoes, cockroaches, worms!、Uh, this world is full of creepy crawlies. My goodness, who made this world anyway? They should probably just tear it down and start all over again, get rid of all these diseases and stuff like that. But in any case, we've got to live with it, and please protect yourself as best you can. Hey, that brings. Brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher. 接下来我们看到第二篇新闻 Zika virus continues to spread. Zika 病毒全球警戒
。本文叙述兹卡病毒的影响及可能的解决方法。我们看到第一段最后一句 ：This leads to intellectual disorders, other physical deformities, and a reduced lifespan. 这导致智力障碍、其他身体的畸形及寿命缩短。Lifespan 指的是一个人的寿命。另外有类似的字词是 life expectancy， 意思是预期寿命、平均寿命。举个例子 ，The average life expectancy in Taiwan is 80 years old。台湾的平均寿命是80岁。最后我们看到课文第二段的最后一句 ，Hopefully the Zika outbreak can be stopped before it can affect even more babies。但愿在更多婴儿被感染之前，兹卡病毒的爆发能够终止。这边有个动词 affect，a f f e c t， 在课文中是感染、罹患什么病的意思。但 affect 还有另外一个字义，指的是影响。例如 ，a knee injury affected the runner's performance in the race。膝盖的伤影响了那位跑者在比赛中的表现。有个和 affect 字形很相似的字是 effect, e f f e c t， 它可以当动词，也可以当名词用。当动词的时候，意思是引起、产生。例如 ，new laws passed last month affected many changes in local train stations。上个月通过的法案使当地的火车站产生许多改变。当名词使用的时候，则是影响、效果的意思。例如 ，Richard's poor childhood had a great effect on him。理查贫穷的童年对他有很大的影响。这两个字 ，affect 和 effect， 千万别混淆喽。以上就是今天的课程，谢谢收听。Thanks for joining us, everybody. We hope that you enjoyed getting up to date on some news. It's not particularly new to you, but、uh, it's good because you can practice some of these great vocabulary words and phrases. We hope you'll join us again for English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye.